Besides controlling varroa mites throughout the active season, which is the most important thing you can do for successful overwintering, there are a few other things we do to help the bees get ready for winter. First of all, do the bees have enough honey? We heft our hives or weigh them. It should be extremely heavy. The top box is nearly full of honey and there's plenty of honey in the bottom box. If the bees don't have enough honey, before weather starts to get cold, you can feed them thick sugar syrup. This division board feeder with a float stick holds a gallon of syrup. And after they thicken it, that will equate to approximately a half a deep comb of honey. Putting on mouse guards made of metal is important. It could be number two hardware cloth, meaning two openings per inch. Mice can't get through that, but bees can. And it's actually fine to leave this on year round. There's two ways to use the hardware cloth mouse guards. Tack them on or fold it into a very long V shape and push it in so the springiness of the V holds it right there in the entrance. When installing a mouse guard, make sure you do it on a day that the bees are using their entrance. That way, if a mouse was already in there, they would have sent it out the door before you put the mouse guard on. Here's another kind of mouse guard. This one has an adjustable size. We always use insulation above the inner cover year round. We also have wraps that can go around the hives for winter. Remember, bees who live in trees in the wild have a much thicker wall of wood than our beehives have. So insulating is kind of a natural thing. 